Hey Sagis, how you going? Welcome to your weekly reading. We're just going to get straight into it. Hope you guys are being well. Alright, uh, so we've got the raccoon in reverse at the moment. So um, the raccoon upright talks about being basically scared of your own shadow, scared to come out of the shadows, uh, scared to get out and do something, okay? This can uh, range from anything from uh, social anxiety to basically being locked up inside of the house or uh, like taking a stand, okay? <laughs> right? All right, so it's like coming out of those shadows and making yourself known, basically, all right? Uh, but in the reverse, it isn't talking about that actually occurring here. So that energy is dissipating now. It is dropping. Um, so you may, if, you, if you're in that energy at the moment, um, it might pass soon, okay, for you. Uh, otherwise, this has already happened for you. We've got the black egg here, which represents truth, and it also represents lies, okay? So you may have gone within and uh, had a good look as what, of what was actually truth and what what you needed to be afraid of and what you didn't, basically. Um, something may have come into your awareness regarding a truth, okay, that uh, maybe made you feel a lot more secure, a lot more confident, okay, because this lacks confidence as well. So we can be talking about confidence issues as well, all right, and that has helped you come out of the shadows. Okay, so we've got a, I want to say a lack of sensitivity, okay, with the tarantula here, uh, but also to you um, may have wanted to jump onto an opportunity, okay, that you may have been feeling out, okay, because the tarantula does have uh, legs, okay, and he does feel around, he's got little hairs, okay, on his legs and stuff, and, and they're very, very sensitive, so they do feel out a lot. Um, their moves are very precise, actually. Um, and we've got the stingray here, which uh, always comes back to either going with the flow, all right, or we're talking about a complementary or alternative medicine here, anything from acupuncture to kinesiology to Reiki, okay? So there could have been an insensitive, uh, insensitivity involved, okay, within this. Uh, this could have been family or friends. You may have wanted to get out and do something and go try something like this, but there could have been someone in your immediate vicinity who was insensitive to what you wanted to try. Okay, um, it could have been a possibility. You may have to have gone within and, and found the truth and the lies within the in the certain topic. Okay, and now you're feeling like you can uh, you can come back out and uh, you know achieve this now. Otherwise, this is um, somebody uh, instead of going with the flow, they're forcing something here. They're um, not being sensitive to the topic or the situation, and um, they are pressing on and pressing forward. Okay. Um, maybe that's the confidence that you've got now, okay? This this might not be a negative thing. It could quite well be a positive thing, okay? Um, but the key point here is the truth and the lies which have been discovered, okay, within this process. So, yay. I'm not picking up anything bad um, at all. I feel like whoever this is talking to, um, regardless of the different stories, so it will be multiple people here, I feel like you are now in your power, okay, or coming into a sense of power. Um, we will get you some guidance anyway. Uh, get you some guidance, just in case you need any, for whatever reason. I'll hone in on that tarantula. Yeah, right. Uh, so you may have had trouble reaching out, okay, or you might have trouble reaching out at the moment if you are still in this energy, okay. So um, the guidance is to reach out if you can, uh, put the appropriate steps in place. You may have to have a bit of a chill pill and have a good think of uh, where it is you want to be or what it is that you want to do regarding this situation, okay, and any other persons that are involved as well. Uh, we'll try and get one. Actually, I want to get a rebel deck, hey. Well, let's just mix it up a bit. I'm, I'm going to get a rebel deck on this, just because. <laughs> all right, you eagles tired ass. Loosen the fuck up. Control freaks. Don't get laid. All right? All right. And 
This one is somebody actually needs to figure it out on their own, okay? So this is very much about going within, see how that chick is there, and uh, she's having a bit of a contemplate, okay? That might be legit the guidance, all right? Um, in this case, you may feel that someone was a bit tight with you or uh, you might have been a bit tight with someone else, all right? Uh, you may have been a bit insensitive, things like that. Um, what's that one? Okay, so this is interesting too. Um, so this one says, what the hell are you waiting for? Get that shit done. Okay, if you're waiting for a sign, well, here it fucking is. Just get out there. Get out there. What are you worried about? You know what I mean? Um, do what you can and uh, put the motions in place. You know, get, get that happening. Uh, no point waiting around. Um, I'm a shocker for that. That really hits home with me right now, guys, um, because I've just had like two, three, four weeks of crap, okay, of not getting stuff done. I mean, like, I've done stuff, you know, here and there, right? Like, um, you know, I've done, you know, um, you know, appointments and, and, and crap like that, like my own life, but I really haven't been achieving maximum potential at all. And even to do this reading today, it was such a mission. Like, I was, oh, man, I was in such a struggle view. And then I'm like, you know what? Screw it. I'm just going to do it, and we'll just see how it turns out, right? And so far, it's pretty good. And I'm actually feeling a lot better about myself. I felt very burdened beforehand. Now I feel all right. So get out there. What the hell are you waiting for, guys? Seriously. Um, just, just do it. Just bite the bullet and just go, you know what? I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it and see what happens, all right? Um... If it didn't, if it doesn't work out, fucking can it. But at least just give it a go. All right. Okay, we're gonna get another story. Uh, no, I'm gonna do these guys. Uh, Spellcasters tarot. All right. So we've got another story happening. Sagis. All right. That one doesn't even want to go in. Okay. This is about pulling all your resources together and making shit happen. All right, exactly what we were just talking about, which is really, really funny. So the magician, he, okay, he is his own master, okay? He gets and collects and basically gathers everything that he possibly can. Like we're talking tangible and non-tangible. We're talking about, um, you know, um, material items. We're talking about non-material items like time, effort, energy, things like that, um, any resources, any f physical or uh, material resources that he needs to make things work, e.g. a vehicle, um, a, a public space, um, money even, he pulls it all together, all these little bits together, and he gets it happening, okay? Even people, if you need people to help you on your cause, gather them up, gather them up, get it done. All right, and someone's going to be doing this. Like to have that come out, it, someone's going to be doing this. Someone's going to be rocking this bitch. Someone's going to be blowing the roof off it. All right, so um, you might as well join the party <laughs> and you get into it yourself. Right? All right, we've got the King of Wands in reverse. All right, now, okay, someone might be struggling with anger. Okay, this is a masculine energy, Aries, Leo, Sag. Okay, we are doing Sag. All right, um, it doesn't have to be, but. This can denote an angry person as well. Okay, so the warning considering this, all right, is one, don't use your anger to create things, okay? Um, it just ends in disaster, mate, and I need to remember that too because uh, for me personally with Capricorn, um, sometimes, you know, I have to be heartbroken or angry or emotionally struggling in some way for me to take action. And get shit done okay but we need to overcome those you know unpleasant emotions first and not create out of those unpleasant emotions uh, because it's just carrying it forward okay so uh, if this is you if this does actually happen okay and it's not somebody else that's in your vicinity that's angry with you or regarding an angry person okay um, just remember that yes it is good cause for change, okay? Um, especially if you're angry about a situation and you need to freaking change it and get your shit together, all right? Um, but by all means, please go through the processes, okay? And um, don't, never, like, I hate saying never because I don't want to tell you what to do, but um, to create things from, like, destruction like that, um, you know, you're, you're bound to get frustrated more. There's bound to be frustrations. You may be overlooking something, um, especially 
you know, when you're dealing with these things, um, ego does come into play as well. And um, ego can fuck things up as well. All right. Um, so even like down the track with the future vision, uh, ego blinds. Okay. Um, so anyway, just letting you know, if this is involving somebody else, someone might be cracking the shits because you're in your power. <laughs> all right. So just say it. We're going to get more information. All right. So I'm actually feeling really light and happy and I actually feel like this is resonating with someone where you are so much in your power that it's pissing somebody off. All right. I don't really want to encourage that, but at the end of the day, you are only responsible for yourself and not other people's reactions. If someone gets angry with you for no particular reason because you have done nothing wrong, it's just because you're purely kicking ass. Well, shit. I mean, that's not your fault, is it? It's really not your fault. But we'll get more information on this, King of Wands. All right. Okay. Okay, right. So we've got with the King of Wands, we've got the King of Pentacles reversed. Um, I this could be two separate people. Okay, so this could be um, Aries Leo Sag. This could be Capricorn Taurus Virgo. All right, doesn't have to be. Otherwise, we're talking about a person who is angry because they're not financially stable, perhaps, or they're not feeling the stability of the Earth, the Earth sign qualities. Does that make sense? So um, they, they, they're feeling unstable just in general, which can um, come back into anger. Um, okay, this is interesting. Um, so it could be two people, might be the same person, just taking out roles. Um, we've got somebody creating their destiny. <laughs> All right, this, this got really serious, guys. We've got the full after that, okay, which talks about new beginnings, setting off on a new adventure, something you have never tried before, all right? You have never done this before. Uh, this is a brand new beginning. You don't know where it's taking you. Is it taking you off the edge of a cliff, right? Or does it, is that non-existent? Does the grass just continue? You know what I mean? Is it going to take you into uh, an illumination or is it going to plunge you into darkness? Who knows? It's exciting. It's a new adventure. Okay, at the moment, I'm picking up that it's very positive. Okay, um, so for whoever's kicking some serious ass here, um, I feel that that's directly connected to you and your new journey. Okay, and directly after that, which is really interesting, guys, we've got the lovers card. All right, so we've got the lovers and the fool. This could actually be about a choice in a romantic relationship. Okay, so the lovers can mean a sacred union. Okay, a relationship that defies. Um, the superficial, right? Um, this is a deep, a deep agreement or contract or relationship. Okay. On the other hand, this can represent a contract. Okay. Yes. An agreement. Yes. A choice that is far reaching. Okay. About something new within your life, a new adventure within your life, something that's taking off for you in your life. Okay. This is the card of Gemini as well. So Gemini could be involved in this. Um, We've, we've, we've got a lot of different signs here, guys, but just saying, we're going to pull some information on this, all right? So whoever it is, it feels like someone's getting left in the dust <laughs> and somebody's kicking ass, all right? All right. Um, and they're not really caring about themselves. This is about their own happiness, all right? Just saying. Okay, so let's have a look at this fool and lovers. Okay, so we've got conversations taking place, all right? We've got the mice here, which I'm getting a lot of conversations, okay, regarding this new beginning, this new contract, this new relationship or agreement, okay? I'm not really picking up. I'm sure someone might be venting about their worries or concerns, okay? But I'm actually picking up just a hell of a lot of communication here, a lot of text messages, maybe a few phone calls, uh, emails perhaps, uh, things like that. It could be anything from Messenger um, to actual, uh, like, you know, a bloody Facebooks, anything. Okay, um, so this we've got the snake here. Okay, so this could be involving an ex-partner. Um, it could be involving um, someone within the medical industry as well. This could be involving... Um, I'm really feeling that this is about this person here who just can't get a grip, Pip. All right, um, maybe this person... 
that you're possibly removing yourself from might have been untrustworthy, okay? Um, or there's some little aspect of little white lies type thing. I don't think it's a big deal, okay? Um, I mean, everybody... You know, if somebody lies, no matter how big it is, it is for a reason. And it's normally because they're either scared or can't bloody remember accurately. Okay, there's always a reason why. But at the moment, it's very small, okay, and it doesn't seem like it is a problem. Um, we've got um, some sort of gift in money, okay. So there's an incoming gift possibly involving finances. This also can mean a celebration drink as well, like congratulations, um, you know, keep up the good work. I'm just going to have a look at the snake, okay, because I don't want to scare anyone out, um, anyone. The snake is um, to do with the feminine energy, okay, that seems to be either a solid or something's weighing her down or it's weighing you down, okay, uh, depending on the energy. So it definitely... Um, yeah, that's the that's what's going on with that snake energy, okay? Um, can mean a dark-haired woman as well. It doesn't mean that this is nasty, okay? I'm just throwing out as many combinations as I can um, because it is going to talk to a lot of people, all right? Um, so it can mean a dark-haired woman as well in the traditional, all right? Um, right, okay. We're going to keep looking into this. All right, there could be a public space involved. Um, to do with the masculine energy, okay? Uh, this could involve a workplace or traveling to the public space, especially if it's to do with uh, drinkies or this new beginning, okay? Ah, oh, it's so interesting. We've got the snake back, guys. We've got the snake back. Um, this could be... Okay, we've got the snake. And a man as well, okay? So in, in the mix here, especially with these masculine energies, guys, I'm going to give up on, you know, digging for more information in two seconds, but, I mean, we've got two masculine energies here. We've got another masculine energy. We've got another two masculine energies, right? And one of them seems to have this snake attached to them, which is either to do, yes, with the medical industry with an ex, okay, partner, or there's something here that just can't be trusted regarding this masculine energy. All right, um, so if you are suspicious, obviously that's not going to apply to everybody, but if you're suspicious, I highly suggest that you just keep your head down and keep doing your thing. Um, I don't think that it's any cause for concern. I don't think it's a big deal, but otherwise, you know, if you do feel that that's not the case, you know, you do what you feel is right within your own life, okay? Uh, you just do that. Um, so I'm going to get some guidance for this. We're going to get guidance for that masculine energy and just uh, see what goes on, right? Just do your thing, guys. Just do your thing. Don't let anyone harsh and mellow. Just, um, you know, it's not your problem if people are reacting and responding because they're unhappy with their own lives, all right? Um, okay, you know what? Shit happens. It just happens, right? You continue to shine. Uh, keep your heart open if you can. Like, obviously, this person or this masculine energy might actually, they might actually be someone that means something to you too. Um, they just might be going through a bit of a freaking rough patch um, and they might need a little bit of support too. That's another option there, okay? So keep your heart open, but don't let it harsh and mellow. Don't let it stop you doing from what you're doing and try not to get distracted okay if you have a tendency to be worrying and caring about other people okay but you're on a freaking roll from god right now creating your reality the way that you want it don't let anything stop you okay because i mean i'm passionate about that because i've done that so many times and it's self-sabotage it feels all right so don't do that to yourself <laughs> all right just Bloody, keep your heart open and, you know, pat on the back, bloody, it's okay, you know, no worries, you know, go do something for yourself and sort yourself out, okay, because clearly you're struggling, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep doing what I'm doing, all right, something like that. Anyway, we're going to get some angel cards, just throw it out there, angel cards, angel cards, all right, just in general, okay, so anyone's message, 
All right, we've got wise decision here. So someone is using their wisdom within the situation. Uh, if you don't know what that wisdom is, take the time out and have a good think, okay? But I really feel that Sagittarius are on top of their game this week. I'm feeling on top of my game. I feel so much better doing this reading, guys. Oh, it's almost making me tear up. I mean, oh, I've been really emotional lately, like really bad, okay? But the fact that I feel so freaking good right now doing your reading is actually touching my heart and making me emotional, right? Um, so I really feel that you guys are going to be in a good space, okay? Oh, geez, it's hard not to cry. All right. Oh, mate, this is like so out of character for me, hey? But I mean, you know, it has to be done. All right, what else we got? Angel cards. Oh, that one, I'm going to take that one because that one really jumped. Forgiveness. Okay, so forgiveness might be required within the situation, okay, especially with this sort of energy hanging around, all right, um, <laughs> hanging around, right, uh, around you, all right, so you may need to forgive this person, okay, the fact that they're going through a shitty patch, all right, um, you may need to forgive yourself too, um, because it's hard to not care about other people and go, no, this is what I need to do, okay, you might actually need to forgive yourself and go, well, shit, you know, this is the right thing for me to be doing at this time, okay, um, but either way, there is the element of forgiveness, you might actually receive forgiveness from this masculine energy also, okay, um, yeah, okay, I kind of feel like something might be slightly hidden, just a small thing, um, coming back to that small energy, that kind of that white lie or small lie or something like that, it might not be a lie, it just might be some small aspect which is hidden from you, okay, or hidden from this other person, okay, within this situation that somebody might not be aware of and then as soon as it's brought to light, you know, forgiveness occurs and everybody can move on, okay, move forward. Okay, we're going to get one more angel card, and then we're going to do quick rebel deck, and then we're going to call it a day, Sagis. Okay, don't compromise, guys. Don't compromise. Do your thing. Kick your, kick, kick your ass. Kick your ass, right? Um, stay firm in yourself, okay? And this is a learning experience, okay? So with learning experiences, when this card comes out, it's not always an easy road. It's not always an easy trot. Okay, normally there are challenges which come up. The severity depends, okay, on the situation and your current life experience and what you need to learn and all that type of crap. Um, but, you know, when this comes up, there, there is somewhat of a challenge or somewhat of an obstacle to overcome, okay? And um, this is for your own learning experience. This is for your own personal growth, okay? So keep up with that. Well done. Um, any troubles that you have now, um, I feel are going to pass, especially with that learning learning experience, okay? It's a patch, and then um, you'll get past that, okay? And continue on your merry way. Continue on your merry way. All right, we're going to get Rebel Deck. <laughs> Make better fucking choices. If you're pissed at where you are, then stop taking yourself there. Guys, I do this all the time, all right? We really need to have a look and bloody fix what the hell we keep doing over and over and over again, okay? I'm really picking up for somebody that somebody always drops what they're doing for other people, okay? And you don't need to do that anymore, all right? Laugh. Where the fuck is your sense of humor? That's another thing. I've been so serious lately. I haven't enjoyed life at all, you know what I mean? Um, everything has been so much of a freaking burden. <laughs> I've forgotten to laugh. I've forgotten the humour in life. I, you know, I'm sure a lot of you are the same too. So um, have a laugh. Have a laugh at something funny. Something you're taking too seriously. See if you can tap into that energy, all right? Even if it's a freaking disaster, laugh at the fact it's a freaking disaster, mate. Um, you know, it's it, life's pretty funny. It can be a bit ri ridiculous at times. They broke your heart, fuck them, all right? Ask a fucking expert. Don't rely on your friends or the internet. Listen to a damn professional, all right? And we've also got here, we've got two, okay? We've got don't talk to anyone, don't look at anyone. You need some fucking time alone and you know why. And then we've got rebel because fuck it, all right? Now, <laughs> that's really interesting i just saw the next one on the pile okay and i have a calling to have a calling to say it okay but you need to use your own discretion okay because obviously with these cards and stuff if this is something that you're continually doing that's screwing you over 
like with the mate with the better choices if you're pissed where you are then stop taking yourself there for example if you keep being a rebel and it keeps getting you into trouble you know obviously fix that so this is the same type of thing all right but we've got fucking apologize seriously just do it so this could be talking to somebody to actually apologize because they feel the need all right or um this is you know because there's valid reason or this is somebody who apologizes too much okay and needs to start tapping into their freaking awesome power that they've got okay and making shit happen for themselves all right, um, so take that how it rolls and however it speaks to you. That's your weekly reading, Sagis. Um, thank you so much. Your reading has uplifted me to the shit. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I might actually get another video done today. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Uh, all right, so uh, if you like this vid, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe, subscribe. If you'd like to donate to the cause, by all means, my PayPal link is in the description box below. Uh, really is appreciative, guys. Um, I mean, um, you know, every little bit helps, um, and you're helping me on my journey too, and I really appreciate it. If you'd like to share my videos, please do that. Please feel free. Um, the more that, you know, my videos get out there, the more views it's going to have, the more subscribers I'm going to get, and, um, you know, the more messages I can deliver uh, to everybody, like just in general, okay? Um, this is my calling. I've got to deliver messages. Uh, I feel that I need your help to do it. Um, but that's up to you. If you feel, uh, you know, if you feel like you want to help a sister out, um, please, please do that. That would be awesome. If you don't, who cares? I don't really mind at all. It's, you know, everyone can do whatever they want and it doesn't bother me. So, um, thank you so much for your time though. Thanks for checking this out. You guys take it easy. I'm really feeling the love for you guys. Um, just keep kicking ass. All right. Okay. See ya, Sagis. Love you.